hi guys i hope you are doing great today now as you can see we are in the studio and i will be doing a lesson that hopefully will help some of you guys because i have gotten questions um as per what i'll be doing in this video so before i get into it i just want to take the time just like you have taken the time to subscribe i want to take the time to say thank you guys so much for subscribing watching the videos liking sharing and commenting the channel is now north of 800 subscribers and i appreciate it immensely so you guys keep watching sh and sharing because it all helps the channel to grow and i appreciate it a lot as i have said so many times it's not cliche i really do appreciate it so let's get into the lesson uh a uh, subscriber actually asked for a lesson on making mattress covers. Now, I won't be doing a big cover like the size of a mattress, but what I'll be doing is basically the same way you would make a mattress cover, only it would be bigger. A mattress as we know is dimensional so it has that gusseted area where you have to put in a gusset in your cushion so there are two ways that we could approach making the cover we could do the more tailored look where we literally cut the gusset out and stitch it into the cover however another way that we could do the cover i think is easier for especially a beginner diyer beginner sewer to do and it is to make a regular square or rectangular cushion and then stitch off the corners to create that gusset in order to know how to the best way to make your cushion i you can check out a video that i have on the channel in which i show you how to make the cushion i also have shown you in another video how to the easiest way to insert a zipper in a cushion so please check that one out too and if you have problems measuring um to cut your straight lines i link that video too so you can see how to cut your cushion out easily if you need to um learn how to calculate how much fabric you will need for your box cushion cover project you can check out the video that shows you how to calculate your fabric i'll also link that one now i have that all out of the way okay so let's put this aside for just a bit i have um a couple of little drawings here on my whiteboard if you watch my videos or you're subscribed to my channel you know that i like to use a whiteboard right i like visuals so let's look at my drawings here the one at the top is showing the basic cushion with the gusseted area which is four inches and it's four inches all around here 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 four sides it's four inches so now we have the measurement for our gusset which is from top to bottom, bottom to top is four inches. Let's go ahead and start marking off where we stitch off the corners. So basically what you do is you take the corner and you open up the cushion 
making sure that you line up the center of the front part here with the stitch on the other side and then when you have lined up the two seams you get your measuring tape and you measure across four inches and you're measuring across four inches because your gusseted area is four inches so the two inches should be in the center like it is here and i'll go ahead and i'll just put a line here And because the gusseted area is four inches around, we'll do the same thing for all four corners. I'm just putting in a couple of pins. Now let's do another corner. We open up the corner making sure that the center front lines up with the stitch at the back and then we go ahead and measure off four inches making sure that your two inches which is a half of four inches is lined up in the center and Go ahead and make your mark. The mark you're making here will be your stitch line. Now we'll do Now we'll do the back corners. And this is where the zipper is. So we open up the seam and make sure that it's all lined up nicely. And we get our measuring tape, making sure that your two inches is in the middle. Now I'll do my last corner. Sorry guys, I am a bathroom singer. So I'm always trying to sing. If you say something, a song will just pop into my mind and I'll just start singing. Singing makes the heart happy, I think. There we go. Now, after I have finished marking off the corners, I'll take the cushion to the sewing machine and I'll stitch those corners. But before I do that, let's get back to the whiteboard because there is something I want to mention to you guys and it's about the zipper. If you don't want your zipper 
to get caught up in the corner when you are stitching off the corner what you need to do is take half the measurement of your gusset which is two inches and you add another half an inch to that which is two and a half inches then you measure from your stitching line which is usually about half an inch so you don't measure from the outside here you measure from your stitching line so your stitching line is right here measure two and a half inches in and you do the same thing on the other side so you make sure you keep your zipper in this area now it's not a big deal if it extends and gets caught up in the the corners when you're stitching off the corners it just creates more bulk so you can do this to reduce the bulk now let's get stitching Now I just want to show you guys something. You see this end here, how it's a bit round? If you find yourself in a situation like that, what you can do is when you go to stitch the corner or the round corner, what you can do is literally that straight line that you you that straight line that you drew across here just start your stitching a little on the corner above that line and curve a little and do the same thing on the other end This is what I'm talking about. You see how I started here and I curved all the way around here. That is so the corner kind of hugs the cushion a little better than just a straight line. Now we're going to turn this cushion cover inside out and I just stick my hands in both corners and just turn it inside out and we're gonna put our cushion in yeah so let's get all the corners set and let's get our cushion and usually what i do to get my cushions in my cushion covers is just basically bend the insert into two and I do have a video that shows you that too, guys. You can check it out. And then we just insert the cushion into the cushion cover all the way in. It's done. You know, another thing you want to consider is when you're making your cushion covers decide ahead of time how you want your patterns to be on your pillow cover because you don't want to put in all the hard work and then you're disappointed at the end before i cut my cushion cover i decided i wanted to have the botanical print across the front of the pillow because it just creates that interest and i think it's pretty pretty okay guys so that's it that is how you make a basic pillow flat pillow then stitch off the corners to make that dimension for your box cushions your mattress covers 
futon covers, whatever dimensional cushion you need to cover. I think I'm liking my cushions, guys. Now I have for each chair, I have a seat and a back to cover and I have six chairs. So that means I have 11 more cushions to cover. And I'm liking this one a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. You take care now, guys. Until I see you in the next video.